And the bank holiday weekend also coming up a little later on as well. Now, several strong earthquakes have shaken parts of Hawaii after the eruption of one of the world's most active volcanoes, Mount Kilauea. Yes, it's on Hawaii's big island where 1,700 residents have been evacuated and a state of emergency declared. Bill Hayton has more. A roadblock, Hawaii style. This neighborhood is 24 miles from the crater of Mount Kilauea, but the ground cracked open on Thursday and molten lava poured out. I smelt it and I ran to the corner and that's when I ran into a military officer that told me that it's smoking and I sure as heck enough take the turn and one of my favorite streets at least <laughs> was on fire. Dozens of small earthquakes left cracks in the roads. Some residents described a feeling as if a giant snake was moving under the houses. You could feel the heat coming from the ground. Yeah, there's, there's heat coming up by this. There's lava doing it. And that wasn't the only danger. The air was filled with potentially toxic fumes. As a result, the state governor ordered an evacuation. There was little time to gather possessions. Some escaped with what they could. Residents are now waiting to see when they'll be allowed home. Kilauea is spewing smoke from one of its side vents, but at the moment, scientists don't believe there's a major risk of an explosive eruption. Lava's been flowing from the volcano crater and cracks on its slopes ever since it became active in 1983. But with earthquakes getting stronger, no one's relaxing just yet. Bill Hayton, BBC News. Our volcano expert Janine Kavanagh from the University of Liverpool is here to tell us more. Do you know what the first question really is? How serious is the risk to life here? Um, how close do people live to this particular site? Um, so, well, the big island of um, Hawaii um, is actually made of five different volcanoes. And the one that's erupting now is called Kilauea. And that volcano has actually been erupting since 1983. And so people on the island are very uh, used to volcanic activity. But what's unusual here is that there's some new activity in a new area. And um, it's actually started to erupt in a residential place. And so people have had to be evacuated. This is the lava almost kind of coming up out of the ground in unexpected places. It's not the image we have, I suppose, of volcanoes and lava flowing in, you know, from a, a mountain almost. Well, it, it's actually a huge mountain. It's that it's an island in the middle of an ocean. It's in the middle of the Pacific Ocean. And uh, the entire and, island is the volcano. Exactly. It's actually yeah. five volcanoes. And then there's this um, most recent activity is on Kilauea. And so it's not unexpected activity. It's actually quite common activity for these types of volcanoes. Um, but what we see now is quite exciting. In the past few days, is we've had different kinds of activity. So we've had a lava lakes, um, which have been overflowed. And then we've had uh, other vents, which have been drained. And now we've had a magma, which has moved underground sideways and has come out in these new fissures. And there's about five fissures that have just opened up. Now that's, as I understand it, that's the residents have described, so I think some people would describe that as, uh, it's almost as if a snake has been moving under the surface. They're sort mm. of feeling mm. that, that motion under the surface and then it emerges. Mm. Yeah, so what happens um, in volcanic systems is that you've got magma, which is basically molten rock, which is generated at depth. And that moves to the surface in fractures. And when those fractures form, it creates earthquakes, which can be felt at the surface. And it also deforms the land surface. And so we can detect that with satellites. And so the residents will have felt volcanic um, uh, activity, that we've seen that, but they've also um, felt the earthquakes. And so um, I've been alerted to that. Talk to us a little bit about uh, the concerns over the, the gas that's mm -hmm. being emitted. Uh, yeah. That's, a, that's a, a, another threat, isn't it? Yes, yeah, so um, these types of volcanic activity, and you can see in the, in the images there, um, so they're not very explosive, so it's not the type of thing which is going to probably be a problem for airlines, for, ex uh, for example. It doesn't produce a lot of volcanic ash, not a lot of rocky fragments, but what it does produce is quite a lot of volcanic gases. And so the residents are evacuated, partly because of the, act the volcanic activity and the lavas that are being produced, but also because of the gases, and so they need to be moved away out of the safety, uh, um, to safety areas. What, uh, is that in terms of they're being moved away, but yes. they'll dissipate over time, is it, and, it are, mm -hmm. and themselves, are they, are they these deadly gases if they're... they're it's um, sulfur dioxide, um, so it's, it's, it's a, a gas which um, 
uh, can cause problems. Um, but um, the emergency services and people there are managing the situation. People have been evacuated, so that's the main priority at the moment is to get people to. And I think more, more of a problem for people who may have underlying health conditions that would be susceptible to it. Yes. But for someone like you, once we know that people are safe. This yes. is quite exciting to observe, isn't it? It is, it is exciting. You're allowed yes. to say that. Yeah. Well, the past few days have been really exciting as a volcanologist um, because we've seen this progressive activity. So um, Kilauea and Hawaii is a fantastic place to study volcanology. Have you been over there? I have, yes. Yeah, yeah. So a few years ago I, I, I visited and I went on a helicopter and you, we flew around the active vents and you could see lava bubbling in Arthur Lake and, and that was really fascinating. Um, and so, yeah, we've seen the progression of activity and now we've got these new fissures which have opened up. And so it's, it's very interesting to see what's going to happen next. Would you know if uh, there were warnings? I, I mean, I don't know how precise the science is on this. And presumably, mm -hmm. that, well, seeing the images, we saw some of the roads, the eruptions there. You mm -hmm. can't presumably predict exactly what's going to happen. We can't exactly predict what's going to happen, but um, this volcano is probably one of the best studied volcanoes in the world. And so we've got excellent monitoring um, equipment. Um, and so uh, this week there have been uh, restrictions put in place. Um, and also we've seen, um, yeah, lots of different kinds of information coming in, coming together so that we have actually been able to uh, move the people out of the way. And then these fractures that have appeared, these new fissures, it's just a, a slightly further away from the active vents than normal, but it's completely um, expected in terms of where those vents should be. It's, this particular area, though, I think it's, it's been more than 50 years since there's been volcanic activity in that residential place, and so that's why uh, people have, uh, are now being moved. Very interesting. Thank you very much for your time this morning. I think by way of contrast, yes. in terms of the extraordinary scenes we're seeing there, yes. rather calming to see the